It's all right. Everything's okay now, Xiao Yu. Thank you, big brother. Thank you, Anshu. You don't need to be scared anymore. He is here. But I... When I think about all the trouble I've caused you to... I feel like such a burden. I'm sorry. Is that why you're crying? <sighs> Maybe... You should start getting used to this feeling. Because... In the next few centuries... Visually impaired people like us will continue to require help from everyone we meet. So, if a little bit of guilt like this is enough to break your heart, then how will you manage such an arduous path? I'm not trying to console her. This is the reality. Walking alone in the darkness, Hearing every incoming, invisible obstacle. Unable to understand other people's descriptions. Everyone, everything, is like a hot coal in the dark. Invisible, yet still able to burn you. As a long-life species, she can expect life to continue like this for nearly a thousand years. She must learn to depend upon herself rather than just foolishly waiting around for the next hero to swoop in and save her. Yes. By trying my best to change her personal circumstances. In the meantime... She'll have to learn to withstand the darkness. Just as I have. Hey, you're right, aren't you? <laughs> From now on, I'll do my best to rely on myself. Good. I hope you remember this. Forever. This place is too dangerous. Let's head back to Exalting Sanctum. Thank you again, for all you've done. It would seem we incomplete ones are often bullied from a tender age. I endured in numerous hardships to become Chief Alchemist. Yet, there are still things that leave me feeling helpless. That's the reason I said what I said. You might mistake my words for being hurtful. But the truth is, no amount of words can prepare her for what lies ahead. For long life species, these things are permanent. Whether we are beautiful or ugly, tall or short, wise or foolish, all of it is encoded into our flesh from the moment we are born. The impairments of short-life species can be corrected with ingenia or surgery. But that's an impossibility for Sienjo natives. No matter the method employed, how our bodies will eventually return to their original states. I too was once a non-believer. I fooled myself into acquiring artificial eye implants. Soon thereafter, my sightless eyes began to regenerate, and I was left in pain and despair. That brief window of sight that I regained has turned into a perpetual source of anguish, forever etched into my mind. For long life species, this incompleteness is a permanent, unavoidable tenance. <laughs> What a joke. Even the denizens of abundance, so-called abominations, needn't endure such torture. Perhaps we incomplete ones are merely traitors, cursed by the plague's author. It's 
Nothing. Forget I said anything. Thank you for sticking with me through all of this. I think my aspirations in Exalting Sanctum have been met. For now. Oh. I have a gift for you. Though I'll need a little time to prepare it. I'll contact you once it's ready to collect. See you soon, friend. Don Shu needs more time to prepare my gift. There's nothing pressing right now. Why not head over to Spare Time Bookshop for a while? Hmm. Go right ahead. Mr. CEM said that making bookworms feel at home is more important than getting them to buy something. All we ask is that you find a quiet spot away from the browsing areas. friend. You've been running so many errands lately. I'd like for you to take some useful items away with you. Examining the exhibits in the Seat of Divine Foresight inspired me to create this. I referenced some historical texts and concocted a medicine that can extend your lifespan and improve your health. I call it the Broomdew Concentrate Palette, and I'd like you to have it. Consuming it will make your body light, agile, and promote longevity and well-being. As a nameless, it'll make your journey a much less arduous one. Well then, that's that. I've still got some other business to attend to, so... Shall we say goodbye for now? Perhaps the next time we meet, I'll be able to see you, in the true sense of the word. It's not that I don't trust Don Shu, but this doesn't seem like something I should take lightly. Something feels off. I'd better talk to Ching Tzu at the Seat of Divine Foresight. the seat of divine foresight owe the pleasure. Huh. I understand. You say you have suspicions about this pellet she gave you? How about this? Leave this broomdew concentrate pellet with me, and I'll find someone to run a few tests on it. I need to find a trustworthy alchemist, so you'll need to wait here a while. It isn't easy to find trustworthy people like yourself in these perilous times. Thank the stars you were wise enough not to take that pellet. My alchemists were able to extract many forbidden components. The result is identical to the Disciple's mysterious prescription. I understand. Try not to be too upset. 
I had a suspicion that there might be a spy in the Alchemy Commission. But I never expected it to be someone so high up in the organization. I'll put out a wanted notice for Don Shu immediately. If you find any trace of her, get in touch with me. Take this detain with you. It might just help you find this... friend. Don Shu isn't here. Where could she be? I've got it. Don Shu's medicine box has her scent on it. I'll ask the D-Ting that Ching Zhu lent me to track her. Time to come out, little D-Ting. I need you to help me find Don Shu. That's Don Shu. With a group of disciples? I guess that tells me all I need to know. Master, stand back. Let me handle this. Stand down. He's a friend. Many of our brethren have fallen by his hands. Yes, I am aware. What? I said he's my friend. Leave us. Yes, Master. I didn't expect you to come looking for me. The head. What a crude way of putting it. I am Master of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, Scion of Merciful Medicus, and I shall lead the entire Sienjo Alliance onto the path of abundance. Did you ingest the Broomdew Concentrate pellet I gave you? That which the elixir seekers that arrive on the Sienjo dream of. The formula to immortality. To take it is to initiate the transformation from a short life species into a Sienjo person or an abomination. Depending on your perception. Please believe me when I say that never once have I thought about harming you. I merely wanted to offer you the chance to obtain immortality and freedom. Friend, please, I urge you to leave the Lafu. Abandon this struggle. The truth isn't what it appears to be. What did the minions at the seat of divine foresight tell you about this conflict? That the Rainbow Arbiter is the emissary of the righteous? That the Arbiter is chasing the heathen plague's author across the stars? while the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus abet their heresy. Do you really think that is the case? You don't understand Merciful Medicus, nor the devilish Archer author, but you understand me. Do you see me as such? A heretic? I do not ask for you to pick a side. I just wish for you to leave the Lafu to leave this all behind. This isn't your fight, and I do not wish to make an enemy of you. Most unfortunate. Had you known me first, perhaps we could have been good friends. Master, we should leave now. I sincerely wish that this will be our last meeting. Farewell, Nameless. Don't mess with me! 
disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Who's next? Findings to Qingzu at the seat of divine foresight. How did it go? Did you manage to locate Don Shu? So you weren't able to apprehend her. I see. These people have been in hiding for so long. They must have a more nefarious plan. I've got to apprehend them quickly. Once again, thank you for all your help. With your intel, we will put a stop to Don Shu. Jing Yuan tells me you'll be joining the forces led by the Alchemy Commission and Master Diviner. I won't take up any more of your time. Please, take good care of yourself. If you run into Don Shu again, contact the nearest Cloud Knights. Take this as a token of my appreciation. You deserve it. <laughs> 